So what is up bosses, it's your boy Boss Fat One, and welcome back to Bee Simulator. From now on until we finish the game, I think I'm going to purely focus on the main missions, and then if I feel like it, I'll do one video purely focusing on all of the bonus content, or all of the side missions, if you will. So I think that's what I want to start doing for these series, especially these long AAA game series. It's like stuff like when I eventually get to play the new Star Wars game, when I eventually play Watch Dogs Legion, stuff like that, I'm going to purely focus on doing the main missions. And then if I feel like it, I'll do some extra videos on like the side missions and stuff. I think that's just a better overall thing to do for these series because obviously in the last episode pretty much probably more than half of the video was actually me just doing side missions and that just extends the overall series to quite freaking long if i purely focus on the main missions that means that the series isn't going to be like oh b simulator part 39 people definitely want to still see this so if i purely for now focus on the main missions then one the series isn't going to be like 50 million parts and two people hopefully won't get bored with me just continuously spamming out the same game because obviously what i usually try and do as I don't want to have like B Simulator Part 1 come out the next day and then, or that day and then the next day B Simulator Part 2. The only reason I had to do that was because I'd literally just started recording videos again and I recorded the first two episodes in one day and I thought, well, that's just easy to do them one or two days. So then I'm slowly getting back into doing videos again. And what is that? To infinity and beyond. I have the second star for some reason. Wonderful. Still have no idea what that actually is. And does this give me... No, it doesn't. I thought that would give me my boost because I can't boost at the moment and this seems to be relatively far away. Oh, wait, visit the trophy room. So does that mean I can just fast travel to the hive, which is this one? And yes, I believe the trophy room is probably actually going to be within the hive. So we just fast travel there, then that saves us the time of actually getting there. And we fast traveled outside. Wait, why can't I? All right, here we go. So we got to visit the throne room. Every freaking time I come in here, I'm like, how the hell does this game look this good? First of all, let's do all of the pollen stuff. So the knowledge points, is that... Wait, this is actually going to show us what we do with this now, isn't it? Because it talked about something like we can... Yeah, the trophy room. We can unlock things with our knowledge points. The trophy room. In the trophy room, we can unlock animal statues, approach the podium, and accept the price. Accept Y, cancel N. Okay, lovely stuff. And let's just skip that. I guess that's what we actually do. So what do we have here? Western Honeybee. Check the archive. I guess so. Apis mellifera, I think that's how you pronounce that, is Latin name translates into honeymaker bee. And undoubtedly, this ordinary humble bee species is best known for producing the honey we all eat. Bees live in hives with a strong social structure. Each bee has assigned duties and the hive is ruled by the queen, the mother bee that gives birth to all others in the hive. Very interesting stuff. So that I don't think is actually something we can buy then. So we go to these, it just says unlock the trophy room. So I guess potentially we have to actually unlock the whole thing first. What are these big ones here? Grasshopper. So it's just saying that. How do we actually buy them though? I'm not sure. Was it this here? How to help the bees, how to help the bees. I'm not actually sure what we do here. It just says unlock, oh unlock in trophy room. But how do I actually do that? I'm in the trophy room. It says buy a bee statue in trophy room. So I guess we just find the bee one. I guess we have to do that first. So that's common wasp. I believe this is the one we already did. Western honeybee. That's housefly. This is grasshopper. Wait, this was one as well. Oh, there is one. Yellow garden spider. Migrant hawker. We got the whatever that says there. Oh wait, it says N unlock for zero knowledge points. I am a freaking idiot. I apologize. I didn't even read that because I just assumed it said something like don't buy or whatever. 3D viewer. You can use your knowledge points to access 3D view of some animals from the glossary. I guess that's what that says. Lovely stuff. So we've unlocked that one. I believe that's the one we've already read. We can watch in 3D. I guess let's go out for now and then admire this guy. Never mind. We are family. The hive is one big family. We are all children of the same mother. After all, on my first day of pollen duties, I came across a poor confused bee who had got ill from eating bad fruit. I helped her back home. Pretty sure I already read that in the last episode. Lady flower. Pollen, pollen, pollen i scoured the zoo today for good flowers it turns out there is a lady there who carries a basket with some of the most amazing flowers i've ever tasted i guess these leaves are just going to unlock over time which is well, quite unique lovely work, stuff then. is it back to work i kind of want to see if i can buy this other stuff as well so we have exactly one two thousand one hundred ninety seven and offer 350 knowledge points well how much is this big one here 450 that's not actually that expensive let's unlock this grasshopper i want to see how freaking awesome this guy looks 
Oh, hell yes. Is that alive? Hopefully not. The grasshopper has a large pair of compound eyes which give all-round vision. Three simple eyes which can detect light and dark, and a pair of thread-like antennae that are sensitive to touch and smell. Their mouth parts are adapted to chewing. Grasshoppers are coloured to blend into their environment, usually a combination of brown, grey, or green. Lovely stuff, and this freaking looks awesome. That is massive. So I can check the archive whenever I want. Very interesting. Can I actually buy Discover the Animal outside? Okay, yeah, so that makes sense. You actually have to unlock the animal to actually have a thing about it. So I unlock that dog. Can I potentially get a freaking statue of that dog? It's an edible frog. I saw a frog in the first episode, didn't I? Or did I not unlock it? I'm pretty sure I got right freaking up close to it. We can get the house fly. I might as well unlock these all now. Hell yes. I do want to know how to get the freaking skins. That would be quite cool. House flies appear everywhere where people or animals live. Their existence today is closely linked to ours as human refuse provides them with food. Flies are slow flyers and they only eat liquids. When a housefly locates something tasty but solid, it regurgitates it into food. Freaking lovely or onto the food. Fly vomit contains special enzymes. Do I really want to freaking read this? Fly vomit contains special enzymes that pre-digest and the food and turn it into liquid, allowing the fly to fly can lap it up. Common wasps have similar castae order like bees with queens, workers and male drones. Unlike bees, wasps create their nests from paper which they make by chewing up wood fibres. I did not know that. It's easy to mistake bees and wasps, but wasps don't participate much in pollination and don't die after using their sting. That's the one freaking thing that I knew about bees. I guess I knew that they pollinate flowers as well. I knew that they pollinate flowers and I knew that once they sting once, is basically like if they try and let go of their stinger, I guess, all of their insides basically just come out of their body and they die. They feed their young with meat. Lovely stuff. Just hopefully not human meat. Right, and that is the lovely wasp. Do we really want a freaking wasp statue in here? I thought we freaking hated wasps. And we got one more here. The common wasp. Great, let's just get two freaking wasps in here. I believe that's just exactly the same thing again so let's not read that again because i've already freaking done that in this video and i believe that's everything that we've unlocked so far so we've got one two three we got four so far and i'm pretty sure we've still got over a thousand points of that whatever it's called i've completely forgotten the knowledge points i believe yes i guess so when is the winter i'm not actually sure what time it is winter is coming it's only midsummer yes it is it's only midsummer. Okay, oh, cool. You must be so young so like August potentially. To talk like that. When summer ends, flowers end too. Better get going then. Let's do it. What's our next main mission? Trust me, winter is closer than you think. Winter's here now. We are in freaking winter currently. Where are we going now, I guess? The target suggests that we're going outside of the beehive once more. So let's go. According to an old wives' tale, a bee entering your house means a visitor is on his way. Supposedly, if you kill the bee, the visitor won't be pleasant. Is that true? I mean, it's an old wives' tale, but that's very interesting. I'm not going to kill a bee if it comes into my room anymore, but just please don't come into my room and freaking annoy me during recording. I've had that happen plenty of times. But that happened that a freaking bee just landed on my mic once, which is a very nice freaking surprise. Collect more pollen, 0 out of 50. So is that just any of them, potentially? I completely forget how we actually get the boost up. Oh, it's actually just giving me boost anyway. Or is it? I think it's when we land on food, isn't it? If I remember correctly. And once again, we were getting pushed by the wind. Let's not make that happen again, because that's extremely freaking annoying. But as I suggested in the last episode, you can actually finish off all the side missions in an area. I believe... Yeah. I believe we finished off all the side missions in this area. That's what I meant. In the entirety... Or pretty much half of the entire last episode, we finished off all the side missions in this video. Or in the last episode, should I say. And that's good, but I kind of want to focus on the campaign missions. And as I say, once I finish the game, I might come back and do a full video on just the side missions. And with this game, it might potentially be like one, maybe two videos full of doing the side missions and then we've done everything. I probably won't physically do everything on YouTube. I might not even do all the side missions on YouTube. I'll definitely do all of the main missions and that's for all of the upcoming series as well. It's just depending on how actually long the game is. Stuff like Watch Dogs Legion, I'm definitely not gonna 100% on the series unless I do like a full 10 hour live stream. This game has been very freaking cool though. It is very nice. I'm still waiting for the overall length of the game on how long to beat. I've looked at it about three or four times now and it still hasn't actually had an overall length length of the game, so I'm not sure how much longer we actually have to left in the game. You have unlocked purple dead nettle in the glossary. We have unlocked a purple dead nettle. Freaking great. I never thought in my life in a game I'd unlock a freaking dead nettle. Take the pollen back to the hive. I've done it. 
Hell yes, and this is the perfect time to get freaking full speed. Here we freaking go, and my speed isn't- Okay, my speed is going down, but very freaking slowly, so... There we go! Smash ourselves straight into the freaking tree. And hello, bear, how you doing? That's just saying about the old wives' tale once again. Oh, I can actually physically see me holding the, the pollen. That's awesome. So I guess that we just go here? That's a Lovely stuff. Wow. Yeah, to the point that we actually have- Oh, wait, no, I thought that was plus a thousand, but that's just what we had anyway. Yeah, so I legit had over a thousand knowledge points after wow. buying all them four My things. Really? Is that what happens? Collect as much pollen as you can carry. We're just collecting more pollen, okay. I can't actually boost within the hive. What I should have done, actually, is go back to where that frog was and potentially try and unlock it. But it's weird because I'm pretty sure I did go right freaking up to that. Green, so we have to use this. Wait, what? Um... Okay, there we go. For some reason that wasn't working, or maybe it's because I was talking. Maybe it's because the freaking legend herself, Boss b -Wad, was talking. This helps out for me quite a lot, because everything here is white, and I'm just looking for the colour that's not white, and then that's got to be green, because pretty much the only other colour here is green. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all of these are freaking green, which helps me out so much. They probably did that on purpose, just for colourblind people, because I've seen in the settings that there's no colorblind settings so potentially i did that for that and also if this game is in early access then i might actually definitely come back when it's released on steam because potentially that's going to be full release but i am pretty sure that this is the full game it's just not on steam at the moment what is this or is that just red okay i thought that was like a snack that we could have but i guess not it wouldn't have mattered anyway because my freaking speed's pretty much or my boost should i say is pretty much full at the moment hello bud how are you doing i don't think i've unlocked you yet there we go i unlocked hooded crow have I unlocked this guy? I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah, I guess I have. I'm just gonna go right up to them. Maybe I wasn't close enough to that frog, which would have been a bit annoying, but I just have to go back to it and try and find where I actually saw it. Weird how humans just freaking stand around. I mean, bro, are you actually gonna do anything? You're just... You don't have anything better to do because I freaking saw you in the last episode. And last time I recorded this game was freaking two or three days ago. I can't actually remember, but that whole time you've just been standing here, right? Great. Oh, pigs. I don't think I have a lot of pigs yet. Hello, bro. Hell yes. Iron Age pig. Lovely stuff. Potentially something I can do when I get a bit of free time is just go around and unlock things and then I can show off all of them within the video. I've unlocked wild boar. Okay, so they got pigs and boars in the same place. Lovely stuff. Got some more green over here or yellow. Okay, it is green. That helps me out a lot. And that's 18 so far, or 17, because that one was yellow. Also, something that I did accidentally do while trying to get the thumbnail for the last episode is that if you do this, you can turn the light on. There we freaking go. I did not realize you can do that. I have no idea how I accidentally freaking did that, but I apparently accidentally did that. So is that just saying that I just did that once and then that was it? Let's see, if I do it to this one, is that going to be a thing like the balloons I have to do multiple times? And my god, that was a freaking ordeal. Okay, I didn't do anything with that one. Let's just potentially try that. I know literally at the beginning I said I'm going to purely focus on the main missions, but I just generally want to see if that actually... Okay, that's three that I've done. Now, let's just leave that for now. Potentially it is... Something I have to do more times to get more stuff, but I need two more of these. Are these green? I have no idea. You are, and you freaking are. Hell yes, you've unlocked Alpine Ibex? Ibex? No idea what that is. It's cool how you have all these random things in the environment. I wonder how much actual Easter eggs are in this game. It'd be cool to see. Because it's such a freaking massive open world. I mean, as I, as I was saying, can you get over to them buildings? I mean, most likely not, but it's still cool to actually have them there. I'm pretty sure. Are you something new? A goat, potentially? Oh, uh, okay, I guess I've already got you guys. No, I didn't. There we go. I just suddenly unlocked it for whatever reason. Hello, bro. How are you doing? Once again, don't freaking eat me. But I guess I've already unlocked you. Seagull? I haven't unlocked you, bro. There we go. Or a herring. That's a freaking seagull to me. Oh, wait, we can actually... The zoo and the picnic. Yeah, as I said, we've unlocked the fast travel for the zoo. Still, we've got another four areas to go, so... I wonder actually how long this game is. Drop off the collected pollen. Let's freaking do it. Do we have anything new here? Bees have five eyes. Two big compound eyes. One and three. Never mind. I'm pretty sure I already read that anyway. What's up? So much pollen. Oh, my poor wings. Is that it? Do we have to collect more? A uh, freaking course. Even more? Oh, wow. New skin for old. Hell yes. Completed selected quests and tasks will let you change your appearance. You can also buy some new skins for freaking knowledge points. How do I do that? Show me right now. Extras wardrobe. Do we do it actually in here? I'm not for 600. Jesus. 
So we're that person now, and we actually unlocked one, didn't we? So where's the one we unlocked? Or did we unlock one? All of these are either just locked or we can't see them. So what's the coolest one that we've got? That looks pretty freaking cool, like that blue guy. Got these two as well. That's I exactly... Have I not gone far enough? Okay, these are the different ones here. Red Orchid Bee, a Green Orchid Bee, Blue Orchid Bee, the Fire Bee. That probably looks the coolest. A Little Black Dress or Honeycoat Bee. I think I'm going to go for the Fire Bee. Let's freaking do it. Unlock for 700. Hell yes, I like microtransactions. Especially when you don't have to actually freaking pay real money. But I do definitely... Freaking 2,000. Jesus Christ. I do definitely want them, guys. I want to see what these are, though. What are these up here, actually? You can actually change your... You can get a hat... Oh, that's freaking awesome. What hat do we want? We definitely need a freaking hat. Oh, the freaking headphones. Should we go for it? Let's see. We've got a wizard hat. Got secret stuff. I think the freaking headphones. Yeah, let's go for the headphones. Hell yes. Co cosmetics for the win. We have six more knowledge points and we can't get a trail, but potentially what one do we want? We just gotta go for a yellow one, shouldn't we? Do they have a yellow one? Hot rod, fireworks, UFO... Maybe the UFO one will look cool, so we need just 350 knowledge points. Oh, here's the archive, so we can actually do that. We got hints. Nah, we don't need freaking hints. Statistics. I'm story progress 40%. I mean, I was 30% when I started the video. And we haven't really done that much. I've been recording for 22 minutes, so I guess a decent amount is done. But that's a full 10% done, so potentially this is a relatively short game. I can't move anymore. Okay, we're talking to this guy now. Wait, where's my different outfit gone? I guess did I not equip it or something? How the hell did you even freaking get in here, bro? Why do you want honey? Is that a real... I guess that's a real life thing, but I'm not really sure why they want the honey. Fight, delay the hornet. Hell yes, let's freaking do it. You wish to fight. Okay, they just freaking disappear completely. <laughs> Prepare to fight. Okay, can we actually, before we do that, can we go into here? And let's see if I can actually... Okay, we can't go into wardrobe, never mind. Right, let... okay, I've, I've completely messed this up. I... can I... can I start again? I guess I can't. I don't know why I said right and I clicked left. Why the hell did I do that? Okay, that completely freaking failed. Let's do it properly this time. Left, right, right, left, left, right. There we go. Now do that every freaking consistent time because... That doesn't do that much freaking damage to him, and he's already done pretty much half of our health, so let's be very careful. Left, right, 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 left, and another freaking left. Let's get it. So our energy's full, and his energy's nearly full, so that's good. We've only got one round of this, as we can see at the top of the screen. There we go. Let's just get his health lower than 64 before our health goes any lower. That's the main goal, to make sure he has less health than us. I guess that's the main goal in every fight, to make sure the enemy has less health than you. He's got 94, getting very close, another 30, or potentially this one, and we'll have less. We're only attacking three times, but we're defending three times as well, consistently, so he doesn't do anything to us. Can he not defend? I have no idea, he just consistently attacks me all the time, but he doesn't actually defend. That's a freaking power move, that's all of our energy gone, and he's at 22 freaking health, hell yes. So if I actually consistently do all the defense perfectly, then he can never actually attack me at all. Which seems a bit freaking cheap, it seems a bit easy, but obviously I completely messed up the first one. So I guess anything can happen. If I completely messed up twice more, then I would have been completely dead. Feet unlocked, you shall not pass. Really? We're doing it again? Okay, sure thing bro. Anything to stretch out the video, I guess? We got another cutscene. You shall what are we gonna do now? not pass. Doing a freaking Gandalf thing. Silly little bee. You I just kick the freaking crap out of you, bro. What the hell are you talking about? What is this? Get out! The freaking army working together. Bro, you don't stand a chance. You bought, you came in with one of your freaking guys. We have a whole freaking this nest of bees. Be or a hive of bees. I guess a nest would be a wasp nest and then a bee hive. Well done, my child. Hell yes. God, I freaking love this cartoony art style they got going for the cutscenes. It's awesome. 
Especially the way they've done the captions as well. It's a freaking awesome way. They could have easily just put it at the bottom, but they've got a unique idea. That's awesome. Having a unique idea on just things that are always the same in every game is very much so appreciative. And so the days went on. And Hell yes. Ever closer. Potentially we're halfway through the game now. Potentially that's 50% through. Here we go. The third leaf is now revealed. Winter is coming. Summer is fading fast. And soon we'll run out of flowers. This isn't going to freaking end with all the bees dying, isn't it? Because if that's so, then we need a freaking bee simulator too, straight away. I spend my days now collecting as much pollen as possible for the hive. Today, however... We were interrupted by a most unwelcome visitor, a hornet. But we freaking dealt with him like an absolute freaking boss. Straight away, I'm going to try and get this thing sorted out. So, what did we get? I think it just said apply. So, what is the one that we got? That one, and then apply. Is that the thing? I can't tell. It'd be cool if I could actually turn around. I was trying to see if there was an actual, like, cinematic mode where you can get rid of everything to get, like, a cool thumbnail shot, but... You can't actually physically turn around and see your bee. So I guess that's actually what we look like. But the thing is, we can't actually see the coolest detail, which is like the red face, unfortunately. What we can do now is, can we get... Not that one. Can we get this? 150, 200. Oh no, I think the one I want is 250. So maybe we can just get a 200 for now. A blue, a green, a red. Maybe just the blue. Maybe to just be cool. And actually, we haven't unlocked or put on our hat as well. So we got this guy. Freaking apply. Once again, we can't... Or actually, yeah, we can We can see the headphones quite a bit. So it'll be cool now if I, I can actually have my B in this freaking thumbnail, but I can't because I can't freaking see the front of my B. And if I was going to do that, I'd just have to wait for another cutscene for us to see our B fully. So it's just a bit annoying. It'll be cool if there was an actual cinematic mode. What do we have up here? Is there anything else I need to do before this? I don't think so. I was just going to go back to the actual thing where you can buy stuff to see if there's any new things. But they seem scared. I wonder what's up. Let's go and find out, I guess. Maybe they're scared because of the whole winter is coming thing that's going on. I Ever hear the conversation? Oh. Eaten by a frog, she was. Well, we can unlock the frog, though, at least. Scouting is so dangerous. And we've lost so many in the hornet attack, too. Hmm. I don't think Not there going are well at the moment. to do their job. I think they should check the amusement park. Oh yes. It's dangerous, but I'm there are bound to be good hive spots there. Maybe I can help. I should ask the queen. Hell yes. I mean, we have got freaking headphones on, so how we actually heard them, I have no idea. I mean, right now, if anyone freaking opened my door, I'd just about hear the door open. If they were freaking speaking to me, I'd have no clue. These are just about the most freaking noise cancelling you could possibly get. Is it true? I can't really hear myself talk that much, which is probably why I'm always, like, shouting pretty much in the videos. Been a difficult season for us. Please, Mother, let me help. I will go and check this place called the amusement park. And ride on the freaking Ferris wheel. No. But why? I could help. The amusement park... It is a place far too dangerous for a youngling like you. It'll be cool, though. Besides, you have your own work to do. You must collect pollen for... Oh, yeah, that would be great. Just for the entirety of the next episode, just con course, collect pollen. I just continuously. Order, Would you guys like that? Just for me to collect pollen continuously? No cut edits, just collecting pollen? Funny farm? What's so freaking funny about a farm, then? What? I thought that was another freaking hornet, but it's just a bee. You've got to fly outside and then potentially... Just go to the amusement park anyway? Or the theme park as we call it in this country? A kilogram 2.2 pounds of bees would consist of about 10,000 bees and take about 1 litre 35 ounces in volume. Oh, it's freaking night time. This looks awesome. Hell yes. We got all like the dynamic lights coming in. I guess once you've surpassed that two weeks of being born, then you're not a youngling anymore. So I guess for now you still are. But jeez, that freaking two weeks gone quickly. You've unlocked Roman snail. Snail? Is that... No, that's a freaking rock. Snail? Are you, um... You... You good, bro? Is that actually... 
No. Is that? I don't think that is. I'm pretty sure that's not a snail. I'm pretty sure that's just a freaking rock. Okay, well, let's just continue collecting pollen for now and not worry about freaking disappearing snails. Oh, we got a nice freaking trail going on here. That's a very freaking valid point, to be fair. Like, why are we collecting all this pollen just to freaking leave it there? Pollen? Ugh, I'm a bee. I love pollen, but I wish I could look for a new hive. Hmm. Well, doing the same thing over and over again gets a bit freaking boring. Like, if I sat down and play freaking Watch Dogs for a full year, I'd get a bit freaking bored of it. Go and talk with Alice. I guess we've done that task then. Pretty sure we didn't get to 20, but potentially we did. Oh, this is freaking awesome. Games always look very much nicer at night, because obviously you get all of the, like, dynamic lights coming in. Actually, does that mean we can't do this anymore if we try and do that? Or we turn it off? Okay. What happens if we turn off all the freaking lights? Is everything just going to be completely pitch black then? That might be an easter egg. If anyone wants to try and do that, then fair enough. Oh, that looks freaking cool. Like the blue light I've got going on. That looks awesome. Actually, let's see this with my freaking speed boost. Okay, I didn't really have that much of a chance to actually see if that was speedy or not. Hey. Oh, what's wrong? I've got the theme park. Not that big of a freaking theme park. Just what will cheer you up. Go on to the amusement Follow park. Me and watch out for that wind. Let's do it. Follow Alice and enjoy the wind ride. Oh, so actually doing another one of these then. You say watch out for the wind. I guess that helps us in some way because it just makes us speedy. Oh, so it's going both ways, I see. So I always have to go on the left side or potentially just the left side for now. Maybe it will switch up over time. So this didn't go so well last time. I think I actually failed and had to do it again. So this time let's be a lot better. Let's always go on the right side of the wind. Or the right side is in the correct side of the wind. It's not always necessarily going to be actually the right side. But this time it is. And great. Freaking wonderful. What the hell? Oh no. Yeah, is it another fight? Right, and now you're going to get it. All of them wasps. Surely we can't freaking survive this. Beat Stephen and Emily to escape the wasp nest. Okay. Beat two wasps out of the freaking thousand there and I somehow then get away. Already you're starting with freaking more health than me, which is very freaking unfair. But we've got two rounds of this. So I guess the man, I can't remember your freaking name, and then Emily. Boom, boom, and freaking boom for our ultimate power move. And you're pretty much already dead, bro. Like, Jesus Christ. Hopefully freaking Emily's a bit stronger than you, because it's very boring right now. Okay, that's just a bit annoying. You're left with freaking two health, so block, and then attack twice. I didn't even need to freaking attack once for you to die, bro. There we go. And then hit him while he's freaking down, like Logan Paul did to KSI. The hell was that? Was that a freaking cow there? I have no idea what that is. Here we go. We've got more health now. We've got 125 somehow. I've no idea how that happened. We got starting off with our freaking power move. You had no freaking chance, Emily. The hell? I clicked then. That was strange. I freaking left click then. It didn't work. Still, we've got over a freaking 100 health and we completely failed all of that freaking round. One more round and it's of course the freaking power move and Emily is no freaking boss. So hit you twice when you're freaking down. Just again like freaking Logan Paul did to KSI. And there we go. Are they just going to leave now? I have no idea. It's never going to be freaking over, I guess. Nearly full of pollen, though. But these wasps here they're actually going to leave. Safer place. And they're still here. Is this... Oh, I think this is a fake cow. Okay, that makes sense. I know I keep saying it, but this game does look freaking gosh darn gorgeous. And I just looked up the statistics, and we are exactly 50% through the game now, which is awesome. But once again, I'm going to leave episode 3 of Bee Simulator here. My god, this game is freaking awesome. So in the next episode, we're hopefully going to be riding some amusement park rides, and hopefully doing stuff that doesn't result in us just collecting pollen. we still got to see how this beef between the bees and the wasps potentially end and let's see what happens with the winter are the bees gonna get wiped out are they going to find our new hive and as boss b Ward herself says there is literally no point collecting all of this pollen if they're all gonna stay there so i wonder what's gonna happen with the actual story and whether or not as i said recently 
if we're actually going to all die or not, which will be a very sad ending, but I guess we're gonna have to wait and see for the future episodes of Bee Simulator. So that once again is going to end episode number three of Bee Simulator. As usual, there'll be a link in the description if you wanna check out the game for yourself, but for now, hopefully you've enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did, subscribe for our brand new boy, Boss Fat One. Thanks for watching, and of course, as always, peace.